So what I'm going to cover today deals with uh, replace from base and save the base in ResSim. Here you can see I'm in the simulation module and if you right click on your simulation you can see that you have replace from base directory and also save the base directory. And these options are pretty handy for being able to test a new rule. So what I like to do is try to develop the rules one at a time and then test the behavior. So if we go look at uh, the reservoir properties, if we look at the rule set, you can see that we have two rules in each one of the zones. So let's say that in the conservation zone I wanted to add a minimum release rule. Well here we can name the rule, uh, set it to operate from the main reservoir, uh, and then just say it's a release function. And we can make it a function of date and we're going to call it a minimum release rule and just say that it's a minimum release of 200 CFS. So now you can see we have actually have three rules in the conservation zone. So we apply it and we hit OK. So if we go back to the reservoir network where the base model is actually contained, we'll go ahead and save that simulation. We can look at the rules in each one of the zones and you can see that that minimum release rule that we added is actually not present in the conservation zone. So if we go back to simulation and do a save to base and then go back to our reservoir network now we can see that that rule has been added to the base directory. So typically what you want to do is in the simulation module when you add that rule, go ahead and test the behavior of the rule, make sure that it's working properly, and then add it to your base directory. And I only have one simulation here, but if I had multiple simulations, I can then do a replace from base on all my simulations once I'm happy with that, that new rule that I've added.